Since all our research is focused on sensory motor aspects of speech production, in that we're really focused in all our experiments on trying to determine exactly what happens within the speech motor system when the stuttering moments occur. We use a, an actual robotic device to study motor control and sensory information processing. Bottom teeth can then be coupled to the robot and this allows us to use the robot to track the movements of the jaw during speech production or in fact to perturb the movements. So while the subjects are speaking, the robot will be pushing a little bit than any. And we can then again study how the individual's brain will use the different sensory information that is not matching their normal speech uh, production and how the subject adapts to these forces supplied by the robot. In a different set of experiments, we use the robot to implement passive movements of the jaw and we ask the subjects to report back to us with a joystick how much movement they feel. So we can use it to try and dissociate if the subjects perceive the sensory information towards the brain accurately or if their difficulty is only when their brain has to generate motor commands to move the muscles. So far, these studies suggest that the sensory component of the system works the same in people who stutter and people who don't stutter. Their accuracy for perceiving how much the jaw has moved is not different, but when they have to move the jaw to a particular target, then their performance is less accurate than it of the people who don't stutter. To what extent the difficulties that people who stutter have are limited to the speech production system or if they're also observable in other motor systems. So in our own research program we do a lot of studies with people who study in non-speech motor systems. So this setup over here for example is one where we study the control of arm movements in people who study. And this is in fact a virtual reality type of display system where we can project images onto the screen over here that the subjects look at through the mirror down here and we can show visual targets that they would be making our movements towards. And so even though in this task there is no speech production at all, we find that people who stutter learn these adaptation tasks more slowly than people who do not stutter. So our own research data definitely suggests that even though the symptoms of stuttering occur in the speech system, there are subtle manifestations of more general underlying motor difficulties also in other systems that are not related to speech production.